Hey everybody, this is Tony again, and welcome to another video. And today, I got my first CBCS submission. So stick around. Hello everybody, and welcome back. Um, in this video, I'm going to show off my seven books for my first CBCS submission. I did this one through a local LCS called BMB uh, Collections in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Uh, my second submission I did myself, which I'll get way later on down the line. I unfortunately didn't do the express on either one. Uh, lesson learned. I will be doing that in the future. Um, for this channel, I'm going to try to release content when I can. I'll do unboxings, uh, new comic book day hauls, uh, if I get any more books graded, etc., etc. But let's get on to the main event. I got seven good books here, or at least I think they're good books. Six are first appearances. One is a, a lot of second appearances, but it is a historic book nonetheless. So let's see what, how we did. Cover that up. Okay, first off, we have Avengers number 196. This is the first appearance of Tony Masters as the Taskmaster. And um, I bought this off of eBay when I seen the first trailer, but. It's been on my radar for like years and years. Uh, the trailer just kind of prompted me to go ahead and get it. Um, and uh, we'll see how, how we did. We got 4.5 off white to white pages. And uh, to me, it presents pretty well. I like it. And I'm glad to finally have this in the collection. Pardon the glare. And uh, y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think of Taskmaster. Do y'all like him or not? All right, moving on. We have Batman Vigis of Bane number one. This is the second print. Now, I've had this in my collection since the mid to late 90s. It was given to me by a friend of mine. Um, I don't know why I haven't went and got a first print. Maybe one of these days I still may, but for now, this will have to do. Of course, this is the first appearance and origin of Bane, the guy that broke Batman's back. And let's see how we did. 6.0, white pages, very happy. And before I forget, I'm gonna mention that every one of these books were cleaned and pressed by my buddy Greg. Uh, except for one of them, when we get to it, you'll understand why. It was it was clean, but not pressed. Moving on, third book. We have Avengers Annual number 10. This is the first appearance of Rogue, and the first appearance of Madeline Pryor as a child, I believe. Um, this book will be heating up. I guess it could be heating up whenever we see the Avengers in the MCU. I don't know. Uh, don't really care because this is staying in the PC. I've always liked Rogue since the 90s, uh, especially the cartoon. And I hope they do her justice. So we got it. Got 7.5 off white to white pages. It's pretty cool. I actually got this off of eBay in an estate lot for $10. And I think that was like a couple years ago. So that's pretty cool. Next up, fourth book. We have Uncanny X-Men number 266. This was given to me by my cousin a few years ago. And if you're going to have the first row, you got to have the first appearance of Gambit. Now, I know that is speculation. Some people say X-Men uh, Annual 14 is the first appearance but a lot of people look at this one as his first appearance. It even says on here, it says, First appearance of Gambit in continuity. Uh, it has an appearance by Mystique. And, but I think this is a really cool cover. This is one of my favorite books. Um, Gambit is one of my favorite heroes. I've loved him since this book. Um, I actually had a copy of this in the 90s that got stolen, but I'm not going to get into that. And then, like I said, my cousin gave me this one. Um, Let's see how we did. 8.5. Awesome. White pages. Very happy. All right. 
I believe we have three left. This is the Amazing Spider-Man number 238. This is the first appearance of the Hobgoblin. Uh, funny thing about this book, I bought this off of eBay using eBay gift cards I got from work because as part of my rewards program. So even though I spent $110 on this book, it didn't cost me a dime. Now the funny thing is, is when this book, when I bought this book, it said it was a newsstand, which it is. It was listed at a 1.0 with no tattoos because anybody that knows this book knows that it came with some lakeside tattoos. And if you have the tattoos, it's a little bit more value. Um, but I, but I, this thing is like really low grade, so I'm still not expecting it to be that big on the grade. I'm not, I'm not expecting big grades on any of these. If it, if it happens, it's nice. And uh, let's see how we did on this. 2.0. And I will state, though, I said that it was listed as a 1.0 and no tattoos. When my buddy Greg pressed it, he messaged me and said, guess what? It has the tattoos. So we got 2.0 white pages, new stand edition, first appearance of Roderick Kingsley as the Hobgoblin, includes lakeside tattoos. And this is pretty awesome. Uh, to me, the Hobgoblin, the first Hobgoblin, is one of my favorite uh, villains of Spider-Man. I mean, they went, what? 20 years before they actually revealed his true identity. I mean, he went through a lot of other things. At one point, it was Ned Leeds and a few others. But um, anyway, that's a story all in itself. Pretty cool book to have. All right. So next up is the book that got cleaned but not pressed. And uh, you'll see why. This is Marvel I believe it's Marvel Collectible Classic Spider-Man number one. This is a reprinting of Amazing Spider-Man 300, a chromium edition. And I believe this came out in 1998 or 99. It was to celebrate the anniversary of the first appearance of Venom. Um, I bought this in 2008 or 2009 for like 12 bucks off of eBay. Because at the time, I just wanted a copy of ASM 300. Didn't care if it was a reprint or what. I just wanted it. And I... I wasn't too crazy about Chromium, but I said, I'd heck with it, and I went ahead and bought it. Uh, I'm really curious to see what this fetches, uh, fetches um, because like I said, we weren't able to press it because of the Chromium cover, but Greg did clean it. So let's see what we got here. Oh, hell, a 9.2. That is awesome. 9.2 white pages, Chromium cover, and this is the back. I think the back's just as awesome as the front. It's really awesome, and that's actually the cover of ASM 301. That's pretty cool. All right, last book. This book, as soon as you see it, it needs no introduction. It's an X-Men book. It's a book I never thought I'd ever get into having my collection. Uh, thanks to Greg, who tirelessly told, uh, just kept on me about buying the book. I bought it at a LCS uh, for pretty cheap. Um, and my mother and my stepfather actually gave me a gift certificate, so I was, I was able to throw that in too for a Christmas present. Anyway, here we go. X-Men number 94. This is the second appearance of Storm, Colossus, Nightcrawler, and Thunderbird. It is the, depending on what you count or what you don't count, it could be the second, third, fourth, well, I'll say it's either the third or fourth appearance of Wolverine. This is the first appearance of the X-Men, new X-Men team in this series. They actually first appeared in Giant Size X-Men number one. This was the first new book since, for, uh, they did five years of reprints, and this was the first all-new story in like five years. This book also ushered in what is called the Chris Claremont era which he did all the way up to Uncanny X-Men 279 for like 16 years he wrote this series. Um, I never thought I'd ever get it. This thing was beat up. Uh, Greg worked his magic. We thought we thought he'd come back at a 1 or a 1.5. So let's see how we did. Wow. Okay, a 2.5. That is surprising. I wasn't expecting that. 
But it does say on the thing, it says cream to off white pages, new X-Men begins, Sunfire quits the team, second appearance of Storm, Nightcrawler, Colossus, and Thunderbird, Angel, Marvel Girl, and Ice Man resign. And like I said, it don't have it on here, but it's either like the third or fourth appearance of Wolverine. This is awesome. And to be honest, after you count the discounts and the gift certificate I got from my uh, parents, this probably cost me 50 bucks when I bought it. Very happy. And y'all, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I have another uh, I think it's six book submission, but it's going to be a long time before that one comes out. Um, so uh, I'll try to keep some, I'll try to do some regular content in the future and keep it going. But until then, I'll see you later.